We begin in China and the Bo Ao Forum for Asia is underway in the southernmost province of Hainan. The forum has released three reports on Asia's economy. Our reporter Zhou Yun sheds more light on how the region performed in the past year. Despite a strong performance in terms of the trade last year across Asia, the outlook for future economic integration still needs further development and cautious optimism. The latest reports released at the Boal Forum point out that Asia's most important driver of economic integration, which is globalization, now faces a range of unprecedented challenges. And in order to address these obstacles, the report had called for a joint effort to speed up talks on RCEP, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. We have to resort to high-quality and determined measures to conclude the negotiation of RCEP, and we have seen some progress being made, such as China, Japan, the ROK, restarting their trade talks. This is what we can do at the moment to counter the tide of anti-globalization and propel economic growth in Asia. Overall competitiveness throughout Asia grew in 2017. Singapore topped the list, while China was the ninth highest among the economies surveyed. But it's not just the economic integration that has provided benefits to the Asian economies. The China Initiative Build and Road Initiative has contributed to infrastructure development, trade cooperation and other sectors across the continent. For instance, many countries in South Asia are still not showing a strong level of competitiveness due to their lack of innovation and infrastructure development. But the Belt and Road Initiative is improving their situation by building economic corridors and projects. And finally, economic growth of the world's 11 largest economies, including Brazil, China and India, have witnessed accelerated growth across the board. They are also benefiting from a drastic rise in external demand while witnessing stable domestic demand and consumption. The Asian countries have made remarkable progress since the 2008 financial crisis. And experts say that this is because their fundamentals have improved with policies become more flexible. But what also plays a key role is enhanced integration among the Asian countries to make sure that they fight as a united community to tackle the challenges, risks and all the ups and downs. So Yun, CGTN reporting from Boao, Hainan province.